Whatever relationships you have, you prioritize those relationships over other people. So your view is, this is something that's loving, this is something that is not because I don't know this person. Just because you don't know someone doesn't mean that love doesn't exist. When it comes to love, it is not something that you can prioritize. And what do I mean by prioritize? I mean, I love this person and I don't love this person. You basically have one choice when it comes to it. One choice. And that one choice is love. It's the only choice you have. You can't prioritize it because The very act of prioritizing it makes it lose its purity. It's no longer love once you prioritize it. It's something else. If you didn't know this, love doesn't know priority. Love doesn't know this is my brother, this is a stranger. Love simply is. It doesn't distinguish, it doesn't exclude. You can never prioritize it. If you call yourself loving, you're basically saying all is what I love. If you call yourself loving, but then you go, I love this person, but I don't love this person. I'll love them once I know them enough. You're not really loving the person. You've replaced it with something else. You may look at all your relationships and go, but I love all the people who are in these categories of relationships. I love my girlfriend, or I love my boyfriend. I love my husband or my wife. I love my mom or my dad. I love this person in this relationship, my best friend or my friend. All the relationships I have set up, these are all the people who I would say are my loved ones, those who I love. But then I go, but what about the people you don't know? What about the people who aren't in a relationship with you of some sort? Are they just excluded? Are these the ones who you go, I don't love them, they don't matter? Who are they then? The very word relationship has containment. If you really think about the word relationship, it has a containment. It is not ever expansive. It is not boundless. It has boundaries. It has rules. So even when you say this relationship, that relationship, and you go, okay, this one matters to me, that one doesn't matter, this people don't matter to me, my mom matters to me, this woman doesn't matter to me, because I don't know her, I don't know, really know who she is. That very doing that you're doing is prioritizing this connection to this connection that's not there, this perception. Relationship has a lot to do with who you've allowed yourself to be connected to. 
allowed yourself to be connected to. So anyone who says, I'm in a relationship and I love this person, I go, no, you don't really love this person. Because when you actually talk about love, it has no conditions, it has no rules, it has no boundaries. It is boundless. It is rule-less. It has nothing that contains it. So people go, I have this friendship, I have this amazing relationship, I have this amazing relationship. And now as they're saying this, I just go, there's conditions and rules that are set up. So in that case, you may really enjoy the person's presence. You may actually feel like this person gets you and understands you. You may really feel like that, as opposed to other people. And then you go, since you get me and understand me, you're my friend. Or since you get me better than anybody else, you're my best friend. I'm someone who uses these terms very loosely. And as I'm using the term, there's nothing behind it that means attachment. I'd rather use the person's name than to say, this is my best friend. I'd rather express what I really feel than to pronounce a relationship. And it comes across weird, it comes across different, but I understand what it really means to love all. Not just love someone or just love her or love him, to love all. So why did I bring up relationships? If you really want to understand loving all people, love, you need to remove relationship. Remove your attachment to relationships. Because whatever relationships you have, you prioritize those relationships over other people. So your view is, this is something that's Loving, this is something that is not because I don't know this person. Just because you don't know someone doesn't mean that love doesn't exist. Because it's such a foundational thing, it is beyond anything that you could say that you have with someone. This relationship is something I have with someone and it's loving and it's this. This person, I don't love because they're like this. Constantly making a distinguishment between the two. Constantly prioritizing. This is what I mean. The prioritizing. I love my mom more than I love this lady I don't know because she had me, she grew up, she loved me back. I know that she'll never mislead me. I know that she has the best interest for me. I know that she'll tell me the truth. You have all these different things that makes you love this person but is it actually love? Because anytime you put because to love, it's no longer the, its purity. Remove the relationships that you call to be priority in your life. If you really want to understand love, I don't mean remove the people. I mean remove your attachment to this person means so much to me over other people. This means so much to me over other people. That is the thing to remove when you want to understand what it means to be loving. Anyone will find this very difficult because it's like, why would I ever prioritize a person who has bad intentions, who is a bad person, who people are scared of, who has a tendency to be violent, who's, all, who's deceiving, who's a liar, who's all these things. Why would I not prioritize someone who's truthful and loving and endearing and is grateful for life over them? Why wouldn't I prioritize this person over this person? 
And the reason why I say this is simply this. Prioritizing this person who you call all these great things over the person who you call all these bad things or who even actually is all those things, who actually does exude those things and live those things out is not love. You only have one choice and that's simply to love. That's the only choice when you have to love. Love didn't have the rule of love only when the person is like this. Love never set the rule of only love someone when they love you back. Love never set rules. Rules and love don't go together in the same category, in the same sentence. You can't put them together. Just love. This person is violent and angry, has the tendency to lie, be manipulative, love. This person is truthful and they are open and they allow themselves to grow and be positive, love them. Not prioritizing this person over that person. Because the truth is, when you actually just start loving, you will fall in place where you should be. There's no need to fear that I'm going to be naive because love and naive have nothing to do with each other. You're not gonna become naive by being loving. You're actually gonna become more intelligent by being loving. Naturally, it'll fall into place. You'll find yourself in situations and you're like, I can see that this person is like this and has a tendency to be like this. This is because through your awareness, you allow yourself to do this. And you'll still love them, but you'll just naturally understand that this is not where I want to be. And it won't even be a conscious thing. It'll naturally fall into place. Without your effort, it will fall into place. This person is loving and, and, and gentle and appreciative and whatever things that you feel, you will naturally fall into place with them. And this is the fear that most people have, is it won't fall into place. That when I start loving just everybody, that I'm gonna be dumb, I'm gonna be naive. I'm not gonna be able to protect myself. And you're right, you will be open beyond the point that you're comfortable with, you will. You will include everyone, which will hold challenges for yourself. It will challenge parts of yourself that would in the past block this person out, that would in the past protect. It will challenge these parts of yourself. But there's actually no need to fear. This is something that really needs to be understood. There's no need to fear that you're gonna be naive, that you're gonna be dumb, that you're not gonna make the right choice on who to love. There's no need to do that. Because when you love all, a naturalness comes to you. And that naturalness is being pulled towards these people and away from these people. That's okay, because that's out of naturalness. And sometimes it'll simply be, I know that going into this situation is not smart, but that'll be from intelligence, not from protection, but from intelligence, from awareness, being able to see that, okay, I know that I don't want to be there. There's no other things to it. It's not because they're negative because they're this, because they're this, because they're this. It's just, that's not the place to be. Nothing else needs to be said. It's not the place to be. No because needed. No reasoning 
need it. Love doesn't know the things that we create. Love doesn't know it. Love is who we are. Love gives us the chance to stay connected. There's a great beauty to it that will only be stood by those who are courageous enough to love all. You have the great choice now to go out and see people differently and really unconditionally love, which means simply just love no matter what.